Hello, Richard Wing here on behalf of Stanil Dobrev and SuperSellerTools.com. We appreciate your time and appreciate you stopping by to check out our latest tool. We're excited about it and hope you will be as well. Stanil and I are huge proponents of integrating live chat into one's online or offline business. So much so that anymore it's one of the first things that we set up on any new website that we develop. Over time, we tried many existing solutions and were never really completely satisfied with them. Each one we tried had something missing and none of them offered a way to leverage existing chat solutions. Because of this, we brainstormed and added this new project to our schedule and we just completed it and we're calling it Live Chat and Menu Widget Generator. This great new tool lets your website visitors and clients build a live support menu widget and tap into the power of Facebook Messenger and Skype as a support solution. And at the same time, attract traffic, build a list, and generate warm quality leads for you. It's a perfect lead generator for both online and offline marketers. And right now, I would like to give you an inside look at how it all works and how you can benefit from picking up live chat and menu widget generator from us today. Hello and welcome to the video walkthrough and setup of live chat menu widget generator. In a few moments, I will show you two types of live chat menu widgets that our generator can create. I will show you the admin area that includes simple instructions for setting up the widget generator, a visitor log leads area, and the settings area. Live Chat Menu Widget Generator is a WordPress plugin that installs just like any other WordPress plugin. For the purposes of this video walkthrough, we will assume that you are knowledgeable about adding a plugin to your WordPress site and we will not be covering installation of a plugin. If you don't know how to install a WordPress plugin, a simple search on YouTube can assist you with that. Okay, so let's get started. As you probably noticed, on the bottom right corner of this web page is a tab. This is a single button widget I set up ahead of time. For this demo widget that was generated, it was set up within the working hours that I have set. Because it's within working hours, you see click to chat on the button, and when clicked, it opens up a Facebook Messenger chat. A single button widget gives site visitors a simple and convenient click to chat button to contact someone through the Facebook Messenger system for a live chat session during support hours. When someone clicks to chat, it opens a responsive web version of Facebook Messenger directly to the Facebook ID configured for the widget. In this case, I have it set to open up to my user ID. Outside support hours, the button gives them a click to email option to reach email support as seen here. I have set different working hours for the widget. Right now, it is outside of the working hours. As you can see, it is a very simple yet completely functional live chat solution. Live chat menu widget generator can also generate a menu style widget, which is what the name implies. You're able to create multiple menu items that show themselves when the menu tab is hovered over like this one. You're able to add and configure all aspects and as many menu items as you wish for this widget. Menu items can link anywhere you wish and all design customizations are available through the generator. This menu is showing all menu items that I have set showing during working hours. This one is showing only menu items I want to show outside working hours. This is what the generator looks like. At the top of the generator, there are a couple of required pieces of information needed to generate the widget. First is the Facebook name of the account you want messaged when someone initiates a live chat session. Then there is a support email to be used when and if the widget is set to show the email outside of working hours. 
This is where you set your time zone that working hours we set below are based off of. Next we have the options to select working days and below that are the sliders to set the starting and ending hours. To set your working days, simply toggle on and off the days and they will show up for you to configure the times. To set the time, you simply just slide the slider to the start time and end time of your working hours. Once the hours are set, then there is the option to have the email us option to show outside of working hours. That will show here on a single button. and on the menu where you set email menu item to show. Next you will select if you want a basic single button widget or a menu widget. For single button you see here that you can set the background color of the button, the text color, and the icon color as well as open chat text and email us text. You can also select the icon that you wish to show up on the menu item as well. If you're logged in as an admin on the site and viewing the generator page, you will see an option to embed the widget on your site. You will want to use this option in place of generating the embed code because we strip out unnecessary code so that it works on the same site as your generator. For adding a widget to any other site, clicking the Generate the Embed Code button will open a page with instructions and code to paste in the page. If you set up the generator to collect a fee in order to use the generator, then it will take them to PayPal to pay and return them back. There's also an email sent with a link to get the code for the widget they just generated. If someone comes back to the generator page, their old settings will still be in place. Next I want to show you the additional options that are available for generating menu widgets. To configure a menu widget you need to select menu in the drop down from the style right here. As you can see here there are already some menu items showing. That is because I already generated a widget here and it saved my last settings. You are able to modify these settings anytime and generate a new widget with your updated settings. Here is where you set the options for the main tab of your menu. You can set background color, text color, icon, icon color, and the main button text. Next you would start adding menu items to the menu by clicking the add menu item button here. Normally you would not see this many menu items and the button will be easily visible. Again, I already have a few menu items in place. Menu items each have their own separate options. Background color, text color, icon, icon color, and when to show menu items. Whether it's always, during working hours, or during non-working hours. Next you will set the text for the menu item itself and choose the type of link the menu item will be. Those options are Facebook chat. By selecting this option you will be prompted for the Facebook ID of the person that should be connected to when someone wants to live chat. The next option is email and you will provide an email address so that they can connect that way. Another option is Skype chat and Skype phone. Each of these options will prompt you for a Skype ID. When this kind of menu item is clicked, it will open up their Skype client directly to the Skype ID configured here. And the last option is a URL link 
and that allows you to provide a URL to any web page or site you want. This could be another support desk option, a knowledge base, or you could create a link directly over to a YouTube video or channel. The generator allows you to sort the menu items by clicking the up and down arrows here. You can remove a menu item if you decide you will no longer need it. Generating a menu widget for your own site or for a site or page different than where you have the plugin installed is the same as a single button widget. You can click either of the buttons here. Next I want to show you the admin area. As you can see here, once you install the plugin, there isn't much to the settings area. The first thing to do once it's installed is to set up the page you want the generator to appear on. At the top of the settings page is a short code to grab and place that on the page or post your generator will show. Next in the settings is what you want the default chat, email, and menu button text to be. There is an option to enable the jQuery UI to show sliders and toggle buttons. If you don't wish to show the sliders and toggle buttons and want to use normal checkboxes, then you would uncheck this option. Next you can require they provide you an email even if they plan not to enable the email button outside of hours. This feature will force them to give you an email address in order to use the generator. This information is stored and in the database and displayed on the visitors log here. Another piece of information we provide on the visitors log is the Facebook screen name of the Facebook ID used for the Facebook live chat feature. It's hyperlinked to open up the messenger to the ID collected when they generate the widget. Additionally, we show you the date, time, visitor's IP, payment if they make one, and we provide a link to grab the code and preview the widget they generated. This can be useful if they contact you for support or get lost and don't have the code they generated. Another feature we provide is an area to leave notes. If you use the visitors list as a leads list and contact these leads about your other services, you can leave notes about your interactions with them here. You open the notes area for each visitor and after typing the notes, you click the save notes button here. Going back to the settings page, there's an option for you to host the JavaScript and CSS files for those who use your generator. If you don't want to do that, then you would uncheck this box and when they generate the widget, they will be provided the files to host the JavaScript and CSS on their own. The next options in settings is if you want to include some branding on the widgets that are generated. If so, you have the options to set the title, a URL people are taken to if they click the title, background and text colors for the branded area, and an icon along with the icon color. This is what the branding looks like on a menu widget. And what it looks like on a single button widget. Alright, so the next option we give you in the settings is to set if you want to charge to generate a widget.
As you can see here, you can set the price, set your PayPal email, give it a product ID, product name, and a note to be used on the payment page. After your client makes their purchase, they are sent a confirmation email that includes the link back to your site to get the code for the widget they generated. This is a perfect place to make them aware of any other products and services you offer that they may be interested in. The last option is for yourself, and if it is set on, then it gives you, the admin, the option to embed a widget in the site the plugin is installed on. You can also choose to include the branding or not. We saw that right here, and this is what will be toggled on or off the embed on this site. Enable embedding on the current site. Once you've completed the settings page, you simply save the settings and you're good to go. Stanil and I hope you find Live Chat Menu Widget Generator a suitable live chat solution. We put a lot of thought into it and certain you will find a way to use it within your business to open doors and generate warm leads. Thank you for your time. Until next time.